All right, guys, this is our last day here. At, uh, we're at Wonderland RV Park here, right outside of Capitol Reef National Park. We are packing up. We're getting ready to hit the road. We wanted to go ahead and make a, uh, a separate video. And I especially, I wanted to kind of talk about uh, what I like about this campground right here. Because, you know, we're, we're pretty active with traveling and staying at different RV parks and campgrounds. So we always, we always judge them <laughs> about you know their amenities how they're built how they're set up how much space you have between each other how clean they are and i think this one right here ranks at one of the top Agreed. probably one of the top nicest rv parks uh, that we've been to we've been to a lot of nice ones but this one is really nice and i'm going to point out a couple of reasons why and i believe we've talked about this before or maybe we were going to talk about like i feel like we talk about it all the time well but. like if we decided that we wanted to open up an RV park, we always talk about how we would design things coming from somebody that actually uses RV parks. Yes. So one of the things I wanted to point out is how nice and wide they have the road here. Okay. So you notice CD's four by four post right here. If you look down, they're all in line here. All right. Same thing on that other side. Those are six by six posts on that side. And he asks you to park on the inside of all these posts on either side so that you don't crowd your neighbors that are trying to come in and back into a unit right here. Yeah. That is the first time I've ever had an RV yeah. owner even acknowledge that. Yeah. Because we've been to some crazy tight RV parks yes. that you have no choice but to ask your neighbors to come out and, and move, move their cars because yeah. you have to, you know, back and swing in there and cars are just all out in the way. So that was one thing I liked about this one right here. Yep. Oh, we get the RV cranking up. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost checkout time. It yeah. is uh, a little after 10. Checkout is 11 o'clock. But uh, besides the room that they, they give you here, I like how clean it is. And the owner yeah. comes through here like every hour or two and he moves the sprinklers around. Yeah. You can see that one. He just came and moved that one. So they, they like to water their grass. Everything looks nice and yeah. green here. He has... It's just a really nice campground. The gravel is done right. We yes. go to a lot of them where they put gravel in and they put so little gravel, it really doesn't even make any help, sense yeah. to do it. Yeah, it doesn't help a lot. And the location um, to Capitol Reef is awesome. It's yeah. uh, you know, probably a five minute drive. It's a little bit, it's- 10 minutes? It's less than 10 miles from here to inside the park. Right. But I mean, it's just right there. And it's gorgeous all the way through. Yep. And we did go come into over, town. Come over here to this side. Go ahead. Today, and we ate at the uh, Wild Rabbit Cafe, and it was delicious. That's a good place to go for coffee and breakfast yep. is the Wild Rabbits. You have to check that out. But like over here on this side, they have a nice big open green area over here. And look, for they puppies. Have, they have a uh, volleyball net. But what, I, what, else, what else I noticed on that side, those are for tents. Yep. He actually has tables built there, permanent tables yeah. for people to use for, you know, setting up for cooking. Crap and everything, yeah. Yeah, they have a basketball court down there that's fully concreted and everything. They have a chuck wagon up there that they, I guess they rent out for camping inside. They have some cabins over there as well. You see his sprinklers going. You got a dog run out there. And they have a horse right next to the fence. And that horse, oh look, see it's always oh. right there. So that cute. horse hangs out there by the fence. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of touch on this because yeah. it is a nice place and you can kind of see obviously oh. from the, the video that we're taking here, we, we got an awesome site yeah, on the and end. We did try to extend our stay, but they are completely booked. So, and I understand why this place yep. is great. We'll definitely the, be back. These kind of places you have to book in advance, especially yes. if it's something close to a national park. We booked this a year, almost a year in advance. So. Yep. Yep. So we called to say, hey, could we stay an extra night? And they said, no, we're, we're already booked up. Yep. Um, so we're getting ready to, to pull out of here. But this is a great place to come to. Cavalry yeah. Reef is really nice. Yeah. I mean, you could come and just plan several days here. Yes. If you have like a week off, try to stay here for a few days. Yeah. That way you can go into the park multiple times and see yeah. the different and things And I think there. you would. It, there's d definitely different experiences to do. Um, it's never fun to get it all in in one day because that's exhausting. And it fills up later in the day. That's so true. you can you always can get in good yeah. early, experience something in there, and then as it as it approaches the yeah. eleven and twelve o'clock, it's it's filling well, up. Well, I mean one of the things that we find is usually when we go to the national parks, we are never at the campground. And 
they're usually some of the best campgrounds. They're so the most we, beautiful they're campgrounds. They're the most beautiful, yeah, so. The ones there next to the orchard are beautiful campgrounds. Yes. And we noticed that they're completely dry, so you have to be yeah. self-sufficient. And they yeah. probably won't let you run generators in there either. Probably not. So, you know, you just gotta have a way to but, use your unit without being hooked into power there. Yeah, I mean, that's just one of those incredible experiences though. It is a dark park, so uh, we tried to stay up last night. <laughs> to look at the stars but it, i did not make it <laughs> we, we usually never make it that way we, we want don't. to we want to stay up late yeah and uh, just hang out outside in the chair and, and look at the stars Well, when but you're up so early to go national parking it's hard to st i mean we're late. i try to get her down early so that i can get her up early too whenever we go in into the park he's always like aren't you tired i'm like oh it's 8 30. i guess maybe <laughs> <laughs> And we say, screw it, let's just go to bed. That's exactly right. Yeah, but our bed's comfy. We, we like our bed yeah, and our is. Kodiak. It's, just, it's really comfy there. So we decided to uh, make a couple of changes to our we trip did. here. And we what, did. what we had done, we had, we had, we've had this planned all year. We yes. were going to go to Zion. That's the next one because we Which were going to do we all five. love. And we've been there before. Um, on our honeymoon on trip. On our honeymoon, yeah. We went through uh, Zion. But we decided to cancel Zion. Yep. It is another four and a half, uh, four and a half hours uh, south of us, southwest. Yeah. You know, and we're planning on going back up this way to go to Moab. So we decided, maybe let's cancel Zion. It's extremely busy right now. We yes. keep we keep getting word that they like they are just filled up by nine o'clock every day. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna do something different. Yeah. There, there's so many great places to visit here in Utah. I am really excited about our ch our changes. Yes. So we decided to go to Escalante, yes. Utah, which is on the north side of the, I believe it's the staircase, Escalante uh, National Monument. Monument, yes. It's, I think it's the largest one in the country. Uh, it's like a million square miles or something it's like that. It's insane. But anyway, we found an RV park there that had an availability. Yep. So we're gonna go there and stay for a couple of nights there instead. Yes. And then Bryce is gonna be after that. Bryce oh, Bryce Canyon excited. National Park, that's gonna be after Escalante, which is only like another hour to the west yep. of it. And both of those stops will be new for both of us. So yep. we're really excited. More stamps yep. for the book. Yep, so we're gonna go to Escalante. Yeah. Abby has gotta get some work done. I need to get some work done. So we're just gonna kinda of hang low, but we are gonna maybe seek out something to do yeah. uh, in Escalante while we're there. Definitely get a stamp in our uh, cancellation. But we book. are going to take a rest day. We yep. have been going at it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we just want to. We want a rest day where yes. we don't have to drive anywhere, yes, do we any can hikes. Do some art. We can take a nap. Sit out in the chair. Yeah, set, yep. You know. Barbecue. Yeah. So that's the, that's the plan. We're going to go to Escalante. Yeah. And uh, chill there for a couple of nights before we go over to Bryce Canyon. Yes, which I'm so excited about. So that's where we're getting ready to head. But we got one more thing to do. We need to go add our sticker. To the back yes. of the Kodiak for uh, Capitol Reef. Yes, let's go do that. All right, let's do that. All right, so here's our new sticker for Capitol Reef. Yay. We're going to add to the sticker stack right up here by our other national parks. I think I've added a couple since the last time I did a video back here. I know we added Dinosaur National Monument and uh, Vernal Brewing, Blackfoot, Idaho. I think that Potato was. Potato Museum. The potato museum we got another dinosaur uh, sticker right there so we, we keep adding everywhere we go we're yes. adding to the stickers it's looking good abby keeps adding to the refrigerator yes it's uh, almost stickers. full yep so look, i just wiped this off put it right here yay there we go how did you feel about this park I love this park. Yeah. In fact, one of the things that we did not do, there's an arch there that you can hike to. It's supposed to be awesome. You can even walk across the top of it. But after we got through doing what we did, we we were just ready to we, we were, were ready tired. to go. We were, we were tired, tired and ready to come home. So if we ever come back to Capitol, I'm sure we will in the when future. When we come back to Capitol. We will do this section where that arch is at. Yes. Because that's a whole nother section of the park that we didn't go in. Yes, you cannot get it all done. But Unless that was a, a uh, that was a beautiful park. Yes. Definitely take the scenic drive, the road where you turn where the visitor center is. It just goes all the way to the end, and it dead ends there at um, I think it's Capitol Gorge. That's a great hike. Which is where we went, and you can park and then do that hike through that slot canyon. To there, it was beautiful. 
Get and up, get I will, early. I will say, <laughs> if you get out there late, you're gonna have a hard time finding a parking spot. Yep. Because yep. whenever we drove down there, it was almost like we were the only ones there. And then we pulled down there, and we noticed there was probably was about ten other cars. Yeah. And we got back. I mean, there was there was people pulling in with RVs. I don't At even know how they were gonna turn around yeah, out in there. Yeah. Agreed. So if you go down there, just take your 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 truck or your car. Don't take an RV down there. Or ask the ranger. Yeah, absolutely. Because they'll tell you if you can take it or not. That park is beautiful. Yes. It is. It is. It's beautiful. one of my favorite. But I say that with almost every day. <laughs> as you're driving through there, especially as you're getting down here closer to the walls of the canyon, every time you look up, you're just in awe. And yes. And you're looking at it. It's just fascinating. And around every turn is. Yep. something completely new and amazing so yep, it is and i'm sorry i know i've talked about it before but that orchard in there was so unexpected i knew about the pies i just never thought it would be that cool i just it was a wonderful wonderful experience that i will never forget me too that was great and again it's the location you're expecting desert yep. and you see yep. <laughs> tree, green, green grass, green and, grass fruit trees. and fruit trees everywhere it's yeah. just it was incredible well we loved it here and this is definitely a nice RV park. Yes. It's uh, Wonderland. And um, we enjoyed our time here. So we are going to finish packing up and head down to Escalante. Oh, one thing I will say yeah. is that there's not like a grocery store right here. They have a market that has a few things in it. You can get essentials. You can get essentials. That's but um, if you're going to cook, uh, stop and get food before you get here. Oh, yeah. Definitely stock up before you come. Yeah. However many days you're going to be here. And there are sure some restaurants. Meals. But again, they're yeah. very limited because yeah. this is a small town. Well, and some of them are closed because it's, it's already past season here. Season, yeah. Yeah. All right, so, let's cut this one off. All right, we're done. We'll see we're you, on, to the next we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>